think most traders, private traders, are doomed to lose money? Yes. What, what, is, their, what is their mistake? Is it just not reading up? It's partly that. And some of them are not intellectually up to it. And uh, there are some who uh, they, they just don't put in the time. It, it takes a lot of time. And I've always been interested in the market because I've always seen it in a political context. I've never seen it as a, a form of chess. It, to me, it, uh, economic life is an integral part of a culture. It's the way countries develop. It's the way society is. And I'm always interested in those subjects. So it's not possible to follow those subjects without following the market. The market talks to you. Good point. Um, most common trader errors? <laughs> oh, not being sensible, I suppose. But I don't propose to classify where they are or are not being sensible in advance of their doing that. I can't do it. Well, it's, it all comes back to not studying, really, doesn't it, I guess? Yes. You don't spend the time. But... Can anyone sort of make a good better if they work hard enough and study the stocks? Is there, is there a sort of you know, magic bullet? Well, I don't think there's a magic bullet in the sense that people sit down for, uh, uh, say, 100 hours and say, well, I'll have found the bullet at the end of 100 hours. There was a book written not so long ago um, which put forward the idea that uh, it requires 10,000 hours in which to become dominant in a subject. Uh, I, I've never read the book, but I certainly think that the more you study a matter, the better at it you get. I think that if you put in your 10,000 hours, you may be pleasantly surprised at the results you achieve. <laughs> You may find that uh, a rather vague approach, but unfortunately, I don't offer any alternative. Um, why do people buy shares whose numbers show them to be expensive or poor quality, do you think? Well, I think the reason is they get excited about uh, sectors. Uh, I mean, the internet boom of 15 years ago is obviously an outstanding example of where people became mad. They decided to suspend uh, disbelief. Well, in this life, you can't suspend disbelief. You might do when listening to Edgar Wallace on the radio, but you certainly wouldn't do it elsewhere. Mm.